Well, hey folks, welcome to the Wolf Den again for Mailbox Monday. Yep, Mailbox Monday. And who did I get another package from? I got another package from, uh, obviously, Hui Long Guang Feng Yang Yong Area 2 13 4 402 Beijing Changping Beijing China. So, you know, hey, to fit my last video when I was showing you, I was showing you on my last little Wolf Den video, I showed you these. The gold minnow with the treble hook. Well, since that video, I've used it. I can't, did I catch anything on it? I don't think I caught anything really seriously on it. Because I really wasn't seriously using it, to tell you the truth. Um, but it does, yes, it flutters. If you like this jig, and uh, you wanted to get some on eBay, uh, excellent, absolutely excellent quality. Um... Just to follow up on the last video, this gold plating does not come off. The hooks are these absolute wicked, wicked hooks. And I did a little research. They're either VMC's Mustad or owners. I could swear that's a light owner right there, that little trouble. But, um, so yeah, as a follow-up from uh, the last video when I showed you these, excellent product. Absolutely excellent. Um, they have a good action, being that they're this shape. Uh, these torpedo straight to the bottom, and then when you flutter them, then they do their dance when you flutter up. With a torpedo straight to the bottom. Um, let's see. Okay, I got these. I got those like last week. And I told you that I waited like 18 days for them. Well, guess what? I waited another 18 days for another package. And that was the one that came today. Um, where am I going to put this? Okay. I'm going to show you something other very, that's a, a very unique. Now, this is from the same seller on eBay. If you're, like I said, I don't know because nobody tells me anything. Why don't you tell me something in the comments? Why don't you tell me, have you done any inshore vertical jigging? Have you done any offshore vertical jigging? Why do you even watch this? Is it... Is it like this? Uh, is it like what they said on Seinfeld years ago, um, when Jerry was going to try to get his own TV show named Jerry, and George Costanza said to the NBC executive while they were sitting in the NBC building in New York City, and MB, NBC, NBC executive, uh, executive said, "So what's this show going to be about?" And Jerry goes on to talk, and then George interrupts him. George interrupts him and says, No, no. This show is about nothing. And Jerry says, Oh, well, it's got, you know, it's about something. And Jerry, George goes, No, it's about nothing. Well, the NBC executive says, Then why am I watching it? And George Costanza says to the NBC executive, because it's on TV. Why are you watching a video about my passion for catching fish on metal? 
Um, just because it's entertaining, I mean, let me know. I got all this metal here. I love metal. Um, I love the durability of jigs. I love the colors. I love the colors. I love the hook. Different places that I, I've, and different ways that I've rigged them. Different styles of hooks. Um, using my open end swivels, which I haven't sold any in the last couple weeks. So y'all must be lacking. You need these. You need these swivels. The open eye swivels. They're so handy. You can find them on eBay. Just type in open eye swivels. Um, but why, why are you watching this? That's what I want to know. And I want you to leave the comments. I want you to leave it in the comments. And let me know. Um, you know, I used to say that. I used to say the same thing when I um, would put a, put a big, long fishing report story. I mean, a whole story on my blog, on my, off my website, which is my fishing reports page, which is a, a set up like a blog. Um, I used to say, uh, who the hell's out there reading it? I, I would say it would get 1,400 hits on the blog in 30 days. 1,400 hits. And not a single person would make a comment, wouldn't send me a message, wouldn't do anything. I mean, I know people on YouTube are not squeamish about leaving a comment. Let's see, what... I think on my last video, I got two thumbs down uh, dislikes. I got two dislikes because I showed you these jigs. And then I even did a little part two of it where I kind of ranted and raved about, um, you know, working, having a working relationship with some people over in China off of eBay. And then you can't do it with, a, you know, an American company. Maybe that's the reason why I got two dislikes. I mean, I can't believe that you go through, number one, I've never disliked a single person. Because you know why? I respect the fact that they're going through the effort. Which, making videos is effort. A huge amount of effort. Um, they're going through the effort. Even if I don't, you know, it could be a, it could be a video about Hillary Clinton. Okay? Can't stand her. Can't stand her. But I'm not going to dislike it because somebody made the video. You know what I mean? So, whatever. I get it. I get it. I don't know. I don't know who the haters are out there. But let me show you what came today in this box. So this isn't an unboxing. It's not an unbagging. It's a Dave already cut it open and put them away and even put hooks on them. These are the larger ones that I got. They say that these are 50 grams. That is a heavy jig. It don't feel like it though. But check out that one. Shrimp and or I guess shrimp. It's kind of shrimp shaped. Okay. Let me get a different color here. So maybe it shows up better. I don't have any dark ones. Okay, it's faceted all the way around. It's got a cut here, a cut here, a cut here, a cut here, and just that shape. And it's got this eye in the center and an eye on each end. So, like this one, I kept the treble on that because it came with it. Okay, kind of a center hooked jig so what I did with these 50 gram ones is I put my open eye swivel and a swinging hook right there so as this is fluttering you can't even imagine you don't even know what the hell this hook's doing this hook's going all over the place and uh, and um, in salt water I mean I uh, you know I don't know about bass or nothing um, you know a lot of guys vertical jig for 
uh, stripers and sunshine bass or white bass and all that stuff in the lakes out in Texas and places like that, Oklahoma. I'm really surprised that they don't use anything like this. They use the good old standard bomber type slab spoon. Okay, which this right here is exactly what they use because these came exactly from Texas. That's just a slab spoon. But of course you can see how I've hooked it. And I've even talked to a guy who's a manufacturer of these. Okay, he makes slab spoons. And what they do is they put a big old treble on the bottom. And I said, it's kind of funny that they haven't thought of making a free swinging hook because of the fact that the trebles would hang up. But then I don't know what these lakes look like. Where I fish, everything's a hang up, folks. Every You touch the bottom, it's like Velcro. It's like Velcro. So uh, I got all these different colors of these. So I put the swinging hook on it. I'm going to tie off here. Okay, I'm going to tie off here. I might even try tying off here and seeing what this does. All right. Uh, I got some other cool colors. I mean, I always love the colors of them. And here's another smaller size. Now on the smaller size, all I did was put a hook with no swinging. I just put a single hook attached to that, that belly point right there on that. All right. So we'll keep it simple, stupid. No need for no swivel, no nothing. Just that hook right there. Okay. So that's two sizes, and then I got a micro size too. And I did the same thing with it. Here's a little 20 gram. You know, so I put the hook on so it's facing out. So as this flutters, this hook will be out like this. All right. So as you can see, these jigs come in all different sizes, shapes. I mean, there is a little small vertical jig. And there's this one. I mean, just the different shapes are going to give all different kinds of actions. And I'll give you a prime example. Let me pull out this one. That right there, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. This thing is called the water bug. This one is 20 grams, which is, you know, kind of about a half ounce. It literally is lobed right here, flat on the bottom, and it's got a lobe shape, and then it's kind of like a, a boat bottom V shape here, right here, but then it bumps out. And I'm telling you something, when you tie this off to here on the tip, this thing literally goes hunting. You jig this, and I mean, it it shoots and it, it really, I can see why they came up the name water bug, because that's what it looks like. It looks like a little water bug. Pew, 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 pew. And talk about a glass minnow. I hooked what I believe last year off the Mayport boat ramp dock while waiting for customers. In, I think it was an afternoon trip or late morning trip or something. I hooked a flounder on this that I could not stop. That dude, he hit right at the base of a concrete piling and then he went under the dock, and then shot back out of the dock, but around the piling. Stereotypical flounder bite. It was just, I was jigging it, letting it hit the bottom, go to jig it again, and it's just boom, boom, and I mean, it. he just stroked it. And, I mean, I was literally shocked. 
I mean, this thing smoked me. Handed me my ass on a silver platter. So, that water bug kind of holds a special place in my heart. All right. So, I just wanted to show you these. I mean, these are, you got, you got, you're st I'm starting to like collect and get into different shapes. I mean, that was last week. That's a, you know, a gold minnow. I mean, sort of just like a minnow. Um, I showed you the ones that were exactly like a crippled herring. But it has a center tie-off point. Well, I'll give you a little clue. I'm going to have possibly my own version of a jig. And I'm going to call it, you know, the three-way or something. And it's going to also have a front tie-off, a middle tie-off, and a stern tie-off on the bottom. But it's different than this one. I believe it to be actually better than this. So I'm going to have my own versions. And I might, you know, put a couple on my blog or something. I don't know if I'm going to throw them up on eBay for sale or anything. But I'm going to rig them probably like that. Center swinging hook. So that's coming up soon, hopefully. I'm trying to put, put the seal on that deal right now. So thanks for watching. It's just a Jetty Wolf moment.